Welcome to Hill Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. But apparently, there we go! Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa Bubari. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, today I am in a whole different place. Today, I am privileged and honored to be amongst the best of the best at a mastermind called Prosperity Camp with Greg Reed. And you know, I'm in Carlsbad near San Diego. And if you don't know it, it's in the most amazing place that there is near the ocean, near everything that it is absolutely wonderful. So today is going to be a special thing. It's not about healing, but for those who do not know who I am, my name is Lisa Bubari and by trade, I am a clinical hypnotherapist. So as a hypnotherapist, what do we do? We overcome challenges, we can shift habits and behaviors, even overcome fears and a lot of things that no longer serve us or give us a block for us to move forward in life. And if you know me, you know I have done seven root canals with absolutely no anesthesia. That means the power of the mind over body. And if I have done parachute jumping with absolutely no fear of coming down, guess what? Today is going to be amazing because today we're going to overcome another thing. And I'm going to showcase you that I, myself, I'm going to overcome a fear factor that usually when I see smaller ones, I call somebody else. Today, I have an amazing uh, guest. His name is Jay Brewer. Jay, would you come and join me? There you go. How is everybody doing? (laughs) (laughs) All right. So, Jay. Um... Please introduce yourself. So my name's Jay Brewer. I have a page called Jay Prehistoric Pets. You can look later. But at anyway, the funny part is Lisa here was refusing to do to do the tr- do what I'm gonna do. And the fun part about it is she's gonna do it. <laughs> but it took a little persuasion. Yeah. I had to use some of her own terminology a little That's bit. That's right. Overcome <laughs> obstacles and realize. That sometimes fears are what? False, false evidence. Emotion. Of, okay, emotion. I, false evidence are proving, re, proving real. Right. What, false emotions is. appearing real. Yeah. So we have more control over who we are, what we do, than what we truly believe. Is that true? I believe that that is the most powerful thing a human can find, is the ability to step past their fear into their future. That's into actually their future. for them. Right. In a way, that's how we built success. That's how I did it. (laughs) That's that's why we're at the prosperity camp. It's all about prosperity, bringing abundance. Now it can be abundance of wealth or abundance of things that crawl. So for me, years and years of looking at a show, there was a show that was, that that people, it it was a live show on TV that they would crawl into insects. It's called Fear Factor. Oh, good. He said the word, fear factor. Now, I can understand overcoming a lot of things, but eating insects, eating, being with reptiles and going in places that it's like, why would anyone do that? (laughs) For money? Was it for money? Well, it's funny. You said about jumping out of airplane. I decided at one point in my life, I have a few fears. I always tell people to get over their fears. So I said, I'm going to jump out of an airplane and I'm going to learn how to scuba dive because those I wasn't a very good swimmer. So those are two things that I pushed against because I decided, you know, talk's cheap. Eating that food isn't a fear to me. It's just disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> so I ain't going to do it and I don't have to do it. <laughs> I'm Lisa Bubari and this is the 3E event. Journey within and harness your inner power September 29th and 30th at the Western Rancho Mirage Resort and Spa. Get your tickets today at the3eevent.com. Okay, <laughs> so please tell us what got you into this line of work. Oh, that's a long, it's probably longer than your podcast, but we'll make it simple. My podcast can go as long as you are. <laughs> uh, so basically, 
I started out as an orphan that was had a really tough life and when I was young there was no money no didn't have anything so basically I would venture out in the fields and catch snakes and lizards and frogs and different things for entertainment what else was I going to do they became your buddies they became something I could go do they became a dream a, something I could go imagine I'm going to find this and I'm going to find a bigger one of those and a better one of these and that's what I entertain that's how I entertain myself and amazing there is nothing in our life that happens to us but everything is for us right hi Arthur glad you're joining us so how long have you been doing this uh, I've been doing it for a living for 35 years 35 years yep. Okay, and you are located at the uh, Reptile Zoo yeah. in Orange County? Yeah, and, and we're in Fountain Valley. Okay. Which, which is basically Orange County, Southern California. Wonderful. Yep. So, next time you want to take your kids or you want to go somewhere to be entertained or shock your system into <laughs> knowing that you are very much alive and present, you can do so. Is it like uh, the San Diego Zoo that people no, go, or is a, it, it specialized that you go only for this? It's reptiles. It's literally reptiles. It's not a big place, but it's a very popular place. I'm, I'm, it is? I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm kind of amazed. I mean, and yesterday I had three ma major people from three major countries come. I mean, it was just I get to do incredible things. I so it's a, a place of destination. It's a, it's a destination for people from all over the world, and it's kind of fun. I call it living the dream because when I was a little kid, I used to think, oh man, I went to this one place called the alligator farm and it went out of business. And I used to, and I went one time and it was like instantly out of business. And I had kind of a dream of like, man, that'd be cool. And now I'm that. I mean, I'm, you know, but even now with the internet, I'm that all over the world. You know, me and my daughter have managed to get 52 million followers. 52 million? Yeah. We've had, You're we've, amazing. We've had months where we've had a billion views in one month. Okay. <laughs> For, so we're a little crazy. Yeah. Because it, we talk about fear. My daughter was born with almost no fear. Okay. <laughs> Me, I How have old fear. Is your but daughter? We all have fear, but some of our fear is hidden behind the, some things that we won't let anybody know. But <laughs> How old is your daughter? Uh, she is. Uh, I have three daughters. Uh, the one that's working with me full time right now is uh, 30, 30 years old. Okay, so she's not a little kid. No. Okay, mm -hmm. and she's been with you throughout your life mm -hmm. yeah. and her life. Do you have these at home? Uh, we these? don't. We've had things at home, but we have big things. We have we have snakes that can kill you in a bite. We have gators that can rip your arm off. We have you know she's grown them up from babies, some of them, and so we do. We have very unique animals. Okay, Jay. I'm all about psychology. I'm all about the power of the mind and the subconscious. Mm -hmm. Would you please let us know why do we, most humans, have fears of the crawling stuff, especially I, snakes and tarantulas and things that it's not norm as a pet? I think it's real simple. You open your Bible and it says snakes are evil. You, you turn on your TV set and they're using animals to scare you every day. Okay. And so I think that 80% of it is is perceived from what you're taught the first thing we have to do is learn learn our own minds what the reality of life is how many okay. times does somebody not like somebody because somebody said they were a bad person and they never they were a perfectly good person <laughs> you know what i mean so we have to find our own way and learn our own things so i think that one of the things we have to first be taught is that you the ruler we're taught is not always the right ruler especially because for your life exactly and your own life exactly because you know, in school, little kids, they like to play with insects and, uh, I mean, laboratories is all mice and rats kids, and everything. And then we them. see one rat and women jump. Right. So it's, it's because of what we don't know, our own power. Fear alone is the unknown. Okay. I mean, right? I mean, the same way room. as your, uh, some it, people have fear yeah. of hypnosis, which is the most natural thing to do. It's, I mean, we're scared of mostly on the unknown you know we're scared i used to be scared of electricity because i didn't understand it i was scared of jumping out of an airplane because i didn't realize that the the actual fears that were involved were mostly fake you know what i mean oh my chute's not gonna open you know what i mean 
Oh my and god, that's dozen. the best feeling. Yeah. Jump. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a lot of things, you know, I've lived my life to try to push against my fears. Okay. And it's paid off well. Well, thank I you for like that. I feel like I found my own way. But I have to ask. I see a lot of bites and cuts Scratches. in here. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, bites and cuts. Yeah, well, that, does that mean it's that? Uh, obviously, it must not be a big deal. Huh? Yeah, well, we do heal, don't we? We heal amazingly. Yes. Now, I'm not saying, I, I don't suggest that jumping out of a plane, throwing your chute out beforehand. I don't expect, I don't hey, ever, I think you need to be educated before you go take a risk. But I think learning about your risk is the first thing I always tell everybody. If you're scared of a snake, don't learn about snakes. If you're scared of a... Okay, let's talk about yeah. snakes. I live in an area that there's trails. I walk my dog. And you see rattlesnakes? Uh, I see a lot of coyotes, mm -hmm. okay? And I've never seen a rattlesnake. So educate me about snakes. If I were to see a snake, is it when it's coiled that it's bad or when they are moving? Okay, so there's a perfect for instance. The first thing I teach people the rattlesnake is that they see a rattlesnake, the worst thing they can do. How do I know it's a rattlesnake? It doesn't. Well, you, There's you'll, different be able to, snakes. you'll be able to see the rattle on the end of it. Okay. If somehow you can't see it because it's in a bush, if you get close enough, it's going to rattle okay. to warn you. But the first defense of the snake is to pretend it ain't there. So Walk away? Correct. And the key word is to walk away because... No run. Because if you run away, you just can, like a dog, they will you chase can, you. No, you oh. could trip, you could fall, you could step on one that you didn't see and get bit. Because if you step on one, it's going to bite you. It's that's its like last defense. Okay. It does has no interest in you as a human being. It wants nothing to do with you, and it's ten times more fearful of you than you are of it. Really? Yeah, yeah because everything out in the wild is always trying to eat somebody else out in the wild. So birds of prey. The jackrabbits. Right. They're waiting out for a rabbit, and birds are waiting out for the snake. You see, so so all of a sudden. Evolution of it's, life. It's kind of like life. If you want to start a fight, it's very simple. If you let everybody live their life the way they're supposed to live their life, and you worry more about how you live your life, your life will be easy, right? A much easier. Am I, am I talking your language? Okay. Well, it's the same with snakes. If you just let them be, walk away everybody's happy if a rattlesnake is laying straight in front of you and it's not moving it's because it's convinced that you saw it and it's convinced that if it moves you're gonna for sure see it so okay. it's gonna lay and pretend it's still if it sees you early enough it's gonna take off as fast as it can to get away get away not towards oh, me oh no snakes don't chase people now if you go it's get in a little tiny know. corner you know, if you go stand in front of it and it's trying to go that way, you might feel chased because it's scared and knows where home is. And wherever it's going to go, it has a place to go. It's like standing in front of a mom when their child's on the other side in danger. You're going to get in trouble. <laughs> well, I love being educated because when you are educated, when we know, it's so much easier for us to deal with something we know than the unknown. Absolutely. Right. So that's the first step, I think, in fear is to is to go educate yourself about whatever fear it is. Okay. Whether it's business or anything, you know. So, Health. hi, Armin. How are you? We are talking to Jane Brewer from Reptiles. Reptile Zoo. We're talking about reptiles and why we have so much fear factor. And today... As a hypnotherapist, we know I educate, I help my clients overcome challenges, habits, behaviors, fears, everything. Today, I'm going to be overcoming one of mine, which was things that crawl. So I, I told her, don't worry, it doesn't crawl, it jumps. <laughs> <laughs> she was trying to talk herself out of it. And I was like, I, I just immediately, she, she messed up and told me what she does for a living. <laughs> so... I, so I said, I told her, every time you open your mouth, you're setting a trap for me to be able to catch you. <laughs> and see the words, the words that I use and the word he uses, trap. <laughs> that cre it creates more scarcity for you. It's oh. like, I'm going to trap you. Okay, I'm going to think of it as a golden cage that I can, you know, Bro, actually... I told, what was my choice? You said, you said, no, I could... You said I could bounce? What did you say? I could what? Leave? Eject. Pop gun. Eject. She eject. could eject. And I said, or she can grow. 
that you can grow. That's your choice because in life, almost all fears end up with a huge growth after you pass through them. Thank you for that. So, thank you because when I do this, I want to also share with my clients. You can do this. Great risk, great reward. You know, in life we have to <laughs> take risks because if we're not going to take risks, we're going to remain where we are and then resent ourselves for not doing it. And the resentment, the self-punishment, self-doubt is worse than anybody else doing I always it. laugh when I see Snoop Dogg say on his sound, he says, the first thing I want to do is thank me for believing in me. Yes! And it sounds so stupid. But without that, you will go nowhere. <laughs> exactly. So, in the words of Snoop, yeah, there Snoopy, you go. I was gonna say Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Snoop Dogg. Snoop. Look what I got. All right. Look what I got. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. This is bigger than I thought it was going to be. All right. With no further ado. No, with no further ado, how, we say. How many of you are out, and how many of you are in? <laughs> That, okay, <laughs> is she a girl or a boy? She's a girl. She's a girl. Girls are nicer or boys are nicer? Uh, How would we know it's a girl or a boy? Well, it depends when, what time of the month it is. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> First thing you gotta do is laugh your fears off. <laughs> as long as this thing does not jump. I am fine. So here's the so I'm gonna Where's tell, my insurance? I'm gonna tell everybody the real truth. <laughs> so Rosie has been Rosie. Rosie's been That's with the me. name of my grandmother there, was the name. So seven years I've had her minimum, maybe eight. She's very docile and she's a Chilean rose tarantula. And they are known to be very docile in the first place. What's a docile? Now now I'm gonna show you guys. Very home. Look at the fangs. Whoa. They're they're about a half inch long. She's got giant fangs. Okay. <laughs> That's to help her with her fear. Yes. Remember, education is where you start. <laughs> Come on. So. <laughs> Are we having fun yet? All right. Let's start with this. Okay. We, no, let's start right here. Okay. No, let's start right here. Okay. There we go. Not upwards, downwards. Upwards, not downwards. Hey, Greg. Not upwards, downwards. Where's your, where's your restroom? <laughs> where's your restroom? <laughs> Rosie. So Rosie, Rosie here actually likes to, really likes no. people. No. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. You can't jump. <laughs> you can't jump. So Rosie's, at, let me tell you something real quick, okay? Yes. Rosie could get hurt if she did fall. Yes. Because oh. Rosie has has an exoskeleton, but the All good right. news is she cannot crawl on my breast. Rosie's breasts. never bit anybody. She in seven cannot years. crawl on my breast. Oh, I don't. <laughs> we found the off limits. <laughs> off limits. So, how about your hand now? There we go. Okay, here we go. So Rosie, see, we're gonna move is one she step soft? further. She's sweet. Aww. She's sweet, wonderful animal that loves people. She literally. Yay! See, as soon as you get to understand Rosie, you realize that she is absolutely the sweetest tarantula on earth. So, everybody, just let everybody see her. So That's you, my hand! She did it. Don't worry. Ah. Don't worry. Make it's sure okay. everybody gets to see Rosie. I think she did. I think you did great. I did great. I think you did fabulous. You know what? What? For someone who kills the little oh, roach. Oh. Shh, 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 shh. I know. Easy, don't. Dude. You didn't hear that, Rosie. Windex, 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 Windex. <laughs> she is a sweet. Maybe you'll look at him a little different. Maybe you'll start brushing him into a cup and letting him go. I can do that. <laughs> Thank you for that. You know, Rosie is sweet. She, I promise you, Rosie's a sweetheart. Rosie and is like a, a lot of fears, they're way overrated, but that doesn't mean you go run and grab every tarantula <laughs> that you go see. But it does maybe mean you don't stomp on every tarantula and every bug you've ever seen. Because there are little animals too, and they like to live free. Just like if you get to live free, when you let yourself out of your own traps and your own fears, you get to have a wonderful, easy life. You know, one of the things is, I think the way I laughed and everything, I was expecting the crawling to be completely different than how sweet it was. Yeah, they actually have lots of hands and lots of feet, basically. And each foot actually has a little bit of a hook on it. Let me, uh, let yeah. me feel it. 
And you can see that's to hang on because they can't fall because they do can get hurt. So there you go. Thank you, Rosie. Thank you for being the best experience of me overcoming my own fear of tarantulas and crawlers. You did a great job. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> Good job. So for today, I want to say thank you. And I want to say thank you to Jay. And if you have any children or anyone in your life that you are in the Southern California, in the Los Angeles County, San Bernardino County, Orange children? County. What do you mean? Oh, How about adults. you? Yes, <laughs> you. So go visit, enjoy, and I want to say thank you for being a part of Heal Talk Tuesday. This is called Heal Within. Now, I believe I have healed One myself. Further. One step further. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye, everyone. <laughs> See you next week. I'm Lizzie Bubari, and this is the 3E event. Journey with it and harness your inner power September 29th and 30th at the Western Rancho Mirage Resort and Spa. Get your tickets today at the3eevent.com. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.